Finally realized what is wrong with the algorithm, right? Why it has us sitting in parking lots for so long? Obviously, the market is everybody's market is overly saturated with drivers right now. But it could probably change. And it made me think about the concept of communism in the algorithm and how it plays out. And it plays out with us sitting in parking lots, right? The communism in the algorithm, it provides for everyone old drivers, new drivers, but it provides the same shit pay. So it provides the bare minimum, barely scraping by. Just enough. It can't allow for the greed of one driver. Because if it did, it wouldn't work, right? There's like probably 5% of people who do this, delivery driving, they get all the top orders, get all the top pay, maximize their time, maximize their hours for whatever reason, whatever gadgets or whatever technology or whatever, however they were, they're able to figure it out, maybe doing Uber Black, right? And, and then having some sort of like system where you get all the best orders, right? Some sort of uh, software or something that, you know, breaks them to you faster or only you for whatever reason you can make like a thousand dollars a day that way the ride share professor talks about it but I think the around five percent of the drivers make like 500 bucks I figure out a way to make like 500 bucks a day right using whatever means multi-apping or whatever right they figured out some way to make it. a substantial amount of money right enough to be able to afford anyone a good life right five hundred dollars a day will afford anyone a good life but the goal of the algorithm is to be communist is to provide the bare minimum for everyone, right? So what happens to normal drivers like you and me that are just out here, not with any gadgets, not with any gimmicks, probably a lot of us not multi-apping, I don't multi-app. We get 
sucked down to the communism of the algorithm, right? To the communism of Prop 22. And we have the taxpayer cover the difference, right? I don't feel great about it. I don't, you know, I'm not over here, oh, but I, I get it. I understand this subsidy, right? Because I'm the one paying gas. I'm the one paying for an oil change. I have to do that today. So, that's why we're waiting in parking lots. Right? The system provides for everyone. And you can look at all the new immigrants and be mad. This is from an old immigrant, right? Everybody deserves a chance. That's what America's about. Everybody deserves a chance to make it. You know? You can't look at the people who get orders or whatever with hate and envy. You could only realize that there are some people that are gonna use gimmicks and cheat the system. But ultimately, they're the ones that are gonna get fired. The ones that are gonna stick around are people like you and me. We're just doing our job. We just show up every day, hit online, and we say, okay, our services are, are here, available to you, right? Time, gas, Detention, customer service, like, we're ready for this. Day in, day out, sunshine, rain, whatever, we're ready for this. We're, we have the resources, we have, you know, our car, we have our bike, we have our legs. You have our wheelchair. If you're delivering on a wheelchair, you're a badass. <laughs> but the system allows for everyone to get the bare minimum, right? So that's a, that's something you can take as an understanding, right? That. That's the situation we're in. The market is over, overly saturated and things are not like before where you can get on and just make, continuously make money all day, right? The system is providing the bare minimum for everyone, I'd say, right? So that just means that the way you, we save in the way we invest has to be a lot that much smarter right so you guys have a good day <laughs>